education or a better man to look after him. Anything interesting, David? Yes. We're about to get Come to our first American food. Oh, Banfield's reputation spread worldwide, has it? No, not really. He's the son of an old friend of mine, uh, Julia Derbyshire. Well, uh, Julia Sprockman. She married a rich yanker, went to live in America. Oh, I see. I thought about her in years. Are you sure she's an old friend, not an old flame? <laughs> Well, a bit of both, actually. <laughs> Bully for you. There is a particular reason, too, why I'm sending him over now. But if things work out right, I'll never need to tell you what it is. He's very American, of course. But somehow I know we'll take to each other. Not quite what you're used to in America, I should think. It's a very old school. I think it's well, sir. And do you think you're going to like it here, Charles? I guess I will, sir. Mom talked about this place so much. Uh, well, I'm afraid that in one or two subjects we're going to have to start you off with the younger boys. Uh, but in others, you'll have quite a lot to teach us. Captain of the junior debating team, I hear. Yes, sir. We won the state trophy. Your mother was never at a loss for words, either. No, sir. I guess I get that from her. Well, you can expect a bit of ribbing at first about accents and so on. But I have a feeling that that won't bother you too much. No, sir. I reckon I can give as good as I get. I'm sure you can. Well, come along. Let's see about settling you into your new house and meeting some of your new friends, eh? Good of you to come, PJ. This place must have some less than happy associations. That's true. Can't say I find it altogether congenial myself. Point of fact, I loathe the place. How's Christine, the baby? Oh, fine. We've called him Ian after you. Chris can't wait to get back to work. If I know her, she'll be back in the classroom in a couple of months. I almost envy her, you know. Yes, well, I, I dare say you'll be out of here and back with us before too long. My dear chap, don't let us pretend to each other. You know I'm dying, and so do I. Quack seems to feel it's none of my business. Ghost young fellow. I was forced to be rather severe with him. Three months, he thinks. If there's going to be a war, I won't be here to see it, thank God. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not. I think I've had quite enough. I do, however, I have one favor to ask. Anything you like. Wait till you hear it, impetuous fellow. I have a, a sentimental notion that I'd like to discharge myself from hospital and die at Banfield. Only place I feel comfortable. You must tell me if you find that too. Macabre? No, of course you must. But will you be able to manage? Oh, I'll engage a nurse if it should prove necessary. Money, as you know, is no problem for me. I should like to die at Bamfield, David. I don't know what you mean, Caesar. Now, kill him. I thought you 
You're my friend, Brutus. Uh. All right. Fine. Very good concentration, all of you. Now, just have a word with the person next to you. Any ideas about what might happen next, all right? Like it? I'm very impressed. What is it? David, you are slow. It's Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar at ten years old? Not the actual play, of course. I tell them the plot. They interpret it in their own way. Then when they come to read it, it'll mean something to them. I hope you're finding time to bring up our son in between classes. He's very happy with Mrs. Clark. You know, she adores him. We have to fight to get a look in sometimes. Mm. Don't worry, David. Ian's very important to me. So is my work. And you certainly impressed that LCC man. They're going to take up six more places next year, and they've agreed to pay board and tuition. That's marvellous. We're going to fill my school with cockneys. Bright boys with family problems. That's not unusual for Vanfield. And they will be bright. They'll be there in your scholarship class in a few years' time. I look forward to it. All right. We must have some good ideas by now. Excuse me. Not too hot for you? By no means. In my next incarnation, I plan to be a lizard and bask on a rock. I seem to have spent several lifetimes in cold classrooms and drafty corridors. How does it feel to be a famous success? I'm not a famous success. The Times Educational Supplement describes your work in glowing terms. The very summit, I should have thought, of pedagogic glory. I thought so. I thought so. You mustn't eclipse your husband. Little danger of that. No. I think not. Look, I must go. I've got some new parents coming. I'll come back and collect you. You must come for tea, all right? That would be delightful. Have you everything you want? Indeed I have. Indeed I have. Cricket is such a magnificently boring game. it might. I was in here just over a year ago for cancer and they thought they'd caught it in time, but they were wrong. I've arranged with my attorney to notify you as soon as it happens and I'm afraid that you will be saddled with the job of telling Charles. or a better man to look after him. Anything interesting, David? Yes. We're about to get oh, to our first American food. Oh, Bamfield's reputation spread worldwide, has it? No, not really. He's the son of an old friend of mine, uh, Julia Derbyshire. Well, uh, Julia Sprockman. She married a rich yank and went to live in America. Oh, I see. About her in years. Are you sure she's an old friend, not an old flame? Well, a bit of both, actually. <laughs> Bully for you. There is a particular reason, too, why I'm sending him over now. But if things work out right, I'll never need to tell you what it is. He's very American, of course, but somehow I know you'll take to each other. 
not quite what you're used to in America, I should think. It's a very old school. I think it's well, sir. And do you think you're going to like it here, Charles? I guess I will, sir. Mom talked about this place so much. 